Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot, <clears throat> here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for March 23rd, 2022. Hope all, all is well with you. I just recently got up, so I'm trying to get my vocal abilities um, in high gear right now, okay? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Okay. And rolling the dice, power of number four, okay. Rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. Let me get my piece of paper out. Power of number four. We could see the Emperor card show up. I am picking up on the four of wands and the four of cups. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Taurus throughout the month of April. Mm-hmm. I just heard the phrase, making a return, making a return. And I heard back to you. Some of you could have had to return an item to a store. Mm -hmm. Somebody could, might have had to return something back to Amazon. I don't know why spirit just keeps saying divine masculine. Mm. Just the phrase divine masculine. I'm seeing something about trains. Somebody collects trains or somebody's grandfather collected trains or somebody's kid loves trains. I don't know if it has to do something with like Thomas the Tank, if that's, if that is something, you know, that your kids are interested in or were interested in. Somebody has a 17-year-old daughter. I'm hearing the name Katie. Katie. K-A-T-I-E, Katie. But I'm also seeing the spelling of K-A-T-Y. K-A-T-Y. Okay. Power of number nine. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo or a Libra throughout the month of September. Some of you could feel like you're in the hermit mode right now, Scorpio. Thinking about where this year of 2022 is headed for you right now. Or you feel that your person, your specific person, has been on radio silence. Somebody's getting ready to emerge. It's like I saw the energy. I feel like I've seen that. that what I just saw was like the imagery of somebody emerging out of the depths of the water. So I don't know if somebody's training for swimming right now. Or if this is just... I'm picking up healing, cleansing, renewal, star card right now in my mind's eye. We could also see the Nine of Swords and or the Nine of Cups. Power of number three. The Empress card. Interesting. We have a four and a three that's going on there. Some of you could be 34 or 39 years of age, possibly 43 or 49 Years of age, you could have graduated in 1993 or 1994 for some of you. Empress card could show up. So there's silence with the hermit, power of number nine, between the four and the three. There is silence for a lot of you between the divine masculine 
and the Divine Feminine. Mm. And or I'm picking up in secrecy, in silence, in secrecy, something with the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine doing something in secrecy. And for some odd reason, I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles in my mind's eye. <sighs> okay. There's somebody else involved with the situation. But I'm not necessarily picking up, like, in this regard, like, third party. I'm picking up a close friend. Somebody who is a confidant. Mm. Okay. Picking up on the Three of Wands. Looking out into the distant horizons right now. Making plans. Making plans for vacation. Taking time off. Something about Cocoa Beach, Florida. I just heard Cocoa Beach. Mm. Monterey. <clears throat> Monterey, California. Yeah, we, the reason why I heard Monterey is I heard Frank Sinatra come into my head. Uh, it happened in Monterey. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are big Sinatra fans. Some of you are tap dancers, picking up tap dancers, because I saw Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire in my head. Let's see what these numbers are adding up to. It looks like we are going to the power of number 16, which is in representation of the tower card, sign of Scorpio, sign of Aries energy. The tower kicks in. Something unexpected is going to happen. It's, and I'm not necessarily, I'm not feeling like this is a negative thing, Scorpio. Either something has to come crumbling down to the ground or there's a major breakthrough. Or whatever has to come crumbling down to the ground is the major breakthrough. Or there is going to be a breakthrough. I'm picking up April 16th for some of you guys in the near future coming together into divine union. For others of you, it will be sooner than that, but I just saw the full moon in the sign of Libra in my head because I saw the justice scales and the number 16. So something about April 16th, some of you guys will be coming into union. It's going to be unexpected. And Libra energy rules over the seventh house. It's the seventh house of the zodiac. Which is all about marriage, soulmate, partnerships, justice, um, <clears throat> balancing, balancing of the scales, truth coming forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to take a sip of water here because... My throat chakra area feels a little tight, a little tense, a little tight today. Maybe somebody's having a hard time either speaking their truth. Maybe some of you guys have been holding back. Maybe you guys have been in silent hermit mode right now. Maybe from just your friends or family. Power of number 16. Ah, before I shuffle the deck, there's the justice card. Libra. Libra energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And 16. Trusted ancestors and my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers for the day commencing from March 23rd, 2022. What is the overall message or what is going on with Scorpio's specific person and or any additional spiritual messages that Scorpio may need to know at this moment in time? 
what's going on Ooh, major backstabbing and betrayal or somebody's gearing up to backstab and betray you scorpio but i don't feel like this is your specific person if that's the case it could be friends and or family members or there is going to be an ending i'm picking up you could find out about this information on april 10th could be the next 10 days out from now 10 days, and on the long grand scheme of things, 10 weeks. But I was picking up April 10th. You could find out that somebody was back, was backstabbing you, talking about you behind your back. Or your specific person is going through an ending with a third-party situation. Let's see how the Ten of Swords is coming in. King of Wands, Aries, a Leo, and or Sagittarius. Yes, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Does not have to be. Ten of Swords, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, and or Gemini. What's on the bottom of the deck? Somebody's patiently waiting, we'll say, for whoever's in this King of Wands mode right now. Or this person that you've dealt with before. Yes, they want to plant new seeds with you, but they are going through some kind of, they're going through a betrayal. Huge. They're, I'm picking up something huge here. Or there could be a fire sign that's going to backstab and betray you, Scorpio. Okay. Something about the process picking up or speeding up. Because when the Knight of Pentacles is in the upright, this is very slow energy or delayed energy so something here it's the opposite of what i said so <clears throat> something is going to speed up here after there was a breakup or an ending and somebody's going to be putting in time time and energy right now a lot of you guys are just focusing in on your career and finances right now some of you guys are taking on another side gig side hustle right now as well picking up etsy store picking up shopify Poshmark, Macari. I, I feel like some of you guys are doing like clothes consignment as well. Mm -hmm. Message from the King of Wands. Ooh, King of Pentacles. You may have two people that are after your heart, Scorpio. Some of you could find out that somebody was in a same-sex relationship. Mm-hmm. You could also find out that somebody, there, there could be two men that could be talking behind your back, Scorpio. Doesn't matter if you're a divine feminine, Scorpio, or a divine masculine, Scorpio. There could be two... There could, I'm picking up that message very strongly. There could be two men right now that is backstabbing, gab, gossiping, whispering about you. Or somebody's somebody has a friend. Because if this process is going to speed up, I feel like somebody is racing and charging ahead. Or there are two people here that are not seeing eye to eye. Or there's a same-sex relationship. Boy and boy, girl and girl, some something like that. That the two people are not seeing eye to eye. King of Wands is looking in this way. King of Pentacles is looking this way. Or there are two people here that don't know that each other are interested in you. Mm. That's a twist. Message from the King of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, there's some major betrayal. Jeez. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Scorpio, stay silent right now. Don't be telling everybody all of your business. Um, be careful right now who you open up to. 
careful right now who you open up to or try to reveal your truth. This is not cool. There, there's gab gossiping, whispering, or there could be a family member that found out that their son or their daughter got backstabbed and betrayed by the karmic and that there was some kind of lies or deception or this, your specific person could have caught your person in bed with somebody else, Scorpio. That's what I'm picking up. Wow. This is from the Ace of Swords in the reverse. I feel like this energy is in both directions. I'm going to put it sideways. Knight of Swords. Somebody's getting ready to cut something off and somebody is pissed. Ooh. Knight of Swords in the upright. Somebody's trying to release and let go of burdens or cut out people, places, or things. Um, the Empress card in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. This could be that false, whoever your person's dealing with, false twin flame. Could have had an abortion. Could have found out, your person could have found out that the karmic was involved with somebody else. Could have gotten pregnant by somebody else, but then had an abortion. Oh my God, this is a hot mess. Whatever this is over here, but then it's like the process is going to speed up. Wow. Just, um, hang on. what is the Knight of Swords in the reverse? Yeah, the Fool card. Somebody's an idiot right now. Somebody made a real massive, I mean, we're talking a stupid mistake. Wow. This is a, to me, you guys, what I am seeing here, because I'm getting so many, like, spiritual downloads, it's a highly discombobulated energy that's going on right now because I'm picking up all of these different scenarios coming in from every single angle. It's, it's like there's either a same-sex relationship that's going on where two people are not seeing eye to eye or somebody found out, maybe it could be your specific person that found out that somebody's interested, but maybe these two people are mutual acquaintances or maybe they are friends or in the same social circle somebody is negatively talking and plotting or scheming behind your back right now this could be family members this could be a best friend or somebody who you think is a friend scorpio because somebody somebody's arrogant as f that's what i'm picking up Message from the Fool in reverse. What is this? Somebody wants to return back. Five of Pentacles. Somebody made a foolish choice. Foolish decision. What is trying to speed up here? What is this speeding up the process? Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, I just heard the term like race to the finish line, race to the finish line. Somebody's going to become, I feel like combative or there are two men or two women that are going to be combative over your energy or try to race for the finish line. Who's going to get to you first, Scorpio? Oh, wow. It is a competition. Ace of Wands. This is all that sexual energy. There could be two. Toto, stop it. She does this all the time, you guys. Every time she picks up on energies and it's just like, mm. Okay. To sum it up, there could be two people right now, two potential suitors that feel that are well aware of one another that could be in competition to get to your affections, Scorpio. But I also do feel that the karmic did get caught. Could have gotten caught in bed with somebody else. Okay. So there's a hot mess again. Another hot mess of energy going on here. Okay. Okay. Uh. 
Okay, the Hierophant in the reverse. This is somebody who has not been loyal nor faithful. I feel it's the third party. Or your person wasn't loyal and faithful to this third party. Message from the Hierophant. Yeah, sneaky behavior. I don't care if this is in the reverse or the upright. Seven of Swords. There was deception. Somebody got caught cheating. And they've got massive remorse going on. Five of uh, Cups in the reverse. Tower card. Somebody wants to rebuild something here. But I also say it's in the upright as well. I'm feeling the energy in both directions. Up and down. Message from the Ten of Swords. The moon card, somebody got caught behind the scenes. Cheating. Cheating, and there could also be a Cancerian uh, behind the scenes right now that's going to backstab and betray you, Scorpio. For some of you, more specifically, can be any zodiac sign. <clears throat> could be any zodiac sign. But I'm picking up, there are friends in your social circle that are not real, they're not true, they're not honest. And... Somebody got caught cheating big time. And there's two people here that are in a race for your affection, Scorpio. Some crazy tripped out energy, I swear. But Toto's acting up. I have to go take care of her and uh, get ready for work today. So, all right. Until next time, my beautiful Scorpios, take care.